Hi everyone and welcome to White Sky's Wisdom. This is a general energies reading for the star sign of Aries for September 2019. Welcome back everyone and welcome all my new subscribers. Okay Aries, when I did your yearly for 2019, the card for this month September was the Four of Wands. So stability, celebration, you might be attending a wedding or some sort of celebration of some kind this month, but you're definitely all about the stability and you're all about the celebration this month. Okay. Also being a wands card, this is you in your natural element this month. All right, beautiful Aries. All right, seven of wands and the empress. Yes, in the past you've had to defend yourself. Defend how you're making money, potentially. Fending off many suitors, maybe, even. Four of Swords and the Empress. Yes, you've just come out of a period of downtime. Sitting with your thoughts about what you want to manifest in the world. Nine of Swords and the Empress. Yes, you're now in a period of movement. You've got an idea and you're going for it. You know how you're going to manifest into this worldly plane. Okay. So Aries. All right. Advice for beautiful Aries for September 2019, please. Advice about this Four of Wands, please, for Aries 2019. You could be wanting to go dancing. I mean, those two individuals in that card are really looking like they're enjoying the dance. Okay. Also, with that uh, half moon there, too, there could be a celebration around the half moon this month. Either waxing or waning. Advice for Aries, please. September 2019. Thank you. Okay, yes, could be celebration around a birth. Uh, it could be celebrating with a Leo as well at this time. Okay, uh, you want to find the joy in life again. You want to feel free and easy, light, have sun on you. Maybe you want to go to a sunnier climate. You want to be um, enjoying yourself while you're there. You want to also have stability over your finances here. You could be dealing with a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, you could be outside a lot. Okay, and if you haven't been for a while, it looks like it's time to get outside and enjoy beautiful nature. Smell those flowers. Connect with animals too. Any connection with animals, I think, is going to be really beneficial for you this month. Um, guard your money, okay? Uh, start to wear the clothes that make you feel comfortable and bountiful at this time. Um, Plant flowers if you're in the Southern Hemisphere. Looks like get out in your garden, okay? All right, because, yeah, you've got a plan and you want to act on it. You could also be highly considering world travel or just about to head out on a world travel trip. Uh, something to warmer climates, okay? Um, you've got a passionate idea. The world is in your hands with this idea, okay? So whatever the idea is, that passionate spark of inspiration... Uh, it's time to take it up because you could become um, have enough money to be able to travel or you could um, start to be start to be known worldwide like for example YouTube okay you will be very successful financially and you will be very happy in this venture you will have time to celebrate Okay, all these three cards here are very much um, outside cards. So yes, it is time to get out and breathe that beautiful fresh air at the moment. 
All right, more advice, advice, more advice for Aries, please. <laughs> more advice for Aries, please. What's going on with Aries? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, Aries. All right, yes, because you've been stuck in your head a little bit recently, I think. You've been trying to figure out what to do and it might have had you feeling quite tired, needing some rest. If you haven't been getting enough sleep at the moment, it's indicated to try and get some rest and uh, put aside your worries. Um, start to, That will give you more clarity of thought, okay, when it comes to this new venture and all this Leo you're dealing with. This is yourself very much in your power. So it looks like you're back in your power this month. If you have felt like you haven't been back, in, you haven't been in your power recently, you are now coming back into your power. Uh, you could be wanting to also rush towards a nurse sign here with your passions. Okay. Um, because in the past here, you've been very burdened with um, arguments and fights. Um, lots of thoughts going around in your head. You've wanted to leave a situation. Maybe you are in a position now where you've just left that situation. You've got some extra money and you're about to travel and or it looks like you will be leaving any sort of troubles behind in the month of September. Um, if you are having outward, outwardly fights with people, you may have to temper that and uh, take the fight elsewhere, as they say. Um, put, be willing to leave behind the confusion and um, leave behind the situation yeah because you've been really concerned about how your emotions have been going uh, you've been focusing on what's been lost over the last couple of months here and it's put you in a headspace where you haven't really been able to focus truly on what you want what you want to manifest in the world okay it's left you in a place um, of in, uh, emotional and mental confusion okay um, it's time to, to lift your head, okay, to lift your head and look around at other scenarios that are going on around you, uh, not just focus on uh, things that haven't been going well for yourself. Uh, I think there's other people around you here that are willing to help maybe get you out of the house. If people are asking if you, um, you want to go out somewhere uh, and you've been in the past saying no, it might be time to say yes this month and get out, particularly if they're outside events. Okay, um, anything to do with sunshine and nature is going to be really beneficial for you. Because, yeah, you certainly have an idea, and I think that idea is to travel in some way, but there's a really good idea that you've got going, okay? Just get that beautiful fiery passion behind it, and I think you're going to see great results this month. Uh, this could be a business idea. It seems a bit more like a business read to me. So, yes, you uh, might have been um, put out of work in some way. You might have had to leave a job in some way. Uh, finances could have been a bit of an issue for you over the last couple of months. But I think through this, it's given you time and space to be able to figure out exactly what you'd like to do for work. Um, I think it's best to just start it off, get that fiery passion behind it and give it a go you never know until you give it a go don't talk yourself out of this situation uh, don't focus on what's gone wrong in the past focus on what you'd like in the future and that will help you immensely at the moment because yeah you've had to defend yourself quite a lot recently um, from other people you might be defending yourself from other people's beliefs on what you should be doing for a living and or you're tired from the fight of having to struggle to figure out what's going on it's really taxed your emotions here um, you could also be suffering from headaches at the moment sore shoulders and hips uh, maybe even knees could be affecting you at the moment. So yeah, check in with your body here and get some um, medical treatment or some sort of practitioner to help you out. That's a, the issue. Uh, make sure you take enough time to rest too. But yeah, sunlight and fresh air is highly indicated for you at the moment. Uh, out in nature. And I think clarity is going to come through for you for this wonderful business idea that you've got going. Okay. Uh, it could have been fanciful to you in the past. You might have considered that nine to five was the only way to earn money but I think uh, you're coming up with ideas where you're going to be able to maximize your income for the time that you spend on it um, you might come up with an idea where you're you know been able to even be able to 
earn money while you're sleeping at night you know there might be ways where you don't actually have to sell your time for your money so really look into those this month okay i think they're going to um start to appear for you i think the universe is going to actually start to to bring these ideas to you so yes it looks like a really really good um, start for entrepreneurs this month okay uh, particularly if you're dealing with a Taurus and or a Leo in business, um, it, that's going to work out really well for you, okay? They're going to need your fiery passion to get it off the ground too. So yeah, business partnerships will be of benefit. Even if they're not physical, like two people going into partnership, uh, advice from um, earth signs and other fire signs is going to be um, help you really decide what you really want to do at this point in time okay so any more advice please for Aries any more advice for Aries please any more advice for Aries please thank you Yeah, it looks like a Leo is predominant in your life at the moment and or you're pulling on your innate uh, fiery strength here to tame any worries and concerns or the beastly nature of yourself. Like when I say the beastly nature, it could be like the fire side that fires off at people. You might be taming that at the moment. Uh, you could even be traveling to um, Africa. I see Africa indicated here. Uh, but you're going to need to calm down in any of your um, passions as well to be able to to get this show on the road okay uh, you could also have a job that has to do with um, animals in some way you might decide that you've decided to work with animals in some way and that looks like it's going to be very beneficial to you and and any of the beautiful animals that you work with okay um, it could just be a um, travel blog where you go around and witness different animals or it could be um, something along the lines of writing you know vlogs or something or doing vlogs on YouTube to do with animal care or husbandry that's highly indicated travel is highly indicated uh, and success in business once um, you really get your thoughts um, in alignment so we'll look at your uh, sorry your abundance cards here Aries see where the abundance lies for you in the month of September it looks like it's all going to work out very positively for you here Aries okay whatever you're about to undertake I think it's going to come up um, very positive for you you may have to fend off other people's ideas yes yeah, successful funding and seven vows of poverty yes yeah. so successful funding is coming for whatever business venture you might have at the moment so your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same influent uh, influent wisdom of god that gave you the idea do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are available to help you yes so if you're really concerned that you won't be able to get this idea off the ground or whatever it is please look at different ways of being able to uh, support yourself I know crowdfunding things like GoFundMe and other sites like that uh, you get a lot of support when it comes to helping animals in, in any kind like that people love to help animals so uh, get, get some really good passionate wording behind you and stick it up on one of those sites and you might be pleasantly surprised about the funding that you get to help start off the business dear one there's no need to sacrifice hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty of self denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime as you do so all efforts of these vows or all effects excuse me of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time so yeah check in with yourself and uh, see what you actually think about money okay if you keep on saying oh, I'll never get the money to get this idea off the ground well you need to change that thought around you need to say that I will be supp uh, supplied for my present and my future I sever all vows of poverty from the past present and future in all directions of time in, um, and involving anyone okay and keep on saying that to yourself uh, it's amazing just even the little comments that we can say to ourselves can uh, create vows of poverty 
It could all have also been the way that you grew up. You might have grown up with uh, people around you who said, you know, money's the root of all evil or we never have any money or money's really hard to earn or you have to do a nine to five and struggle, that type of thing to, to earn money. Uh, I don't think that's going to be uh, where you're going to be in the future. I think you're going to surprise a lot of people with your ability to actually manifest money at the moment. Uh, people are going to come at you with a lot of their ideas of, oh, you can't do that or, you know, you won't get enough money, okay? All these things that might have you in a little bit of confusion, but it's you are the maker of your, create, um, your reality and you can sever all vows of poverty that come at you or your own thoughts and create something absolutely amazing, okay? Get the idea together start to put it out for crowdfunding or something like that look at business loans or anything like that i think you're going to be pleasantly surprised uh, that people are actually very keen on your idea and willing to to give you money um, and i think you're going to be yeah by the end of this year i think you're going to be in a very different financial position than you were at the beginning of this year okay we're just going to have a look at any love blocks that might be surrounding you in this situation. Any love blocks for Aries. Well, congratulations, Aries. Even if you haven't seen this now, um, I think that you are going to be able to create something beautiful in this world that's not just going to be able to help yourself financially, but um, other people or other creatures on this planet. So, yeah, well done. All right, so... Any love blocks that might be affecting Aries? Any love blocks that might be affecting Aries in September? Well, I'm going to take that one that flew out instead of the one at the top that I normally would. Independence. Well, this is very much one of your cards here. Uh, being independent does not mean you have to be alone. No, so you might be coming up with this really good idea of get, gaining independence financially um, and all your idea is making you feel a little bit alone. People don't, you don't feel that people understand your great passions here. There are people out there that fully understand you and want to support you. As I said, there's possibly a Leo here who wants to support you or an earth sign of some kind here that's right behind you. Um, wanting to support you in any way possible that can get this idea and get yourself sorted, get yourself financial. Um, another cat here too, could be a, very much a Leo, all right? And self-acceptance. Love yourself just the way you are. Yes, you don't have to earn love at any stage here, Aries. Love yourself for exactly who you are. Start to embrace that beautiful, fiery, passionate person that you are. Uh, another good thing is to um, do some mirror work. If you look at the work of Louise Hay, where she um, would get individuals to look into the mirror and tell themselves they look beautiful, they're great, they're amazing, all that sort of stuff. Uh, it's amazing just to pick up on how much we actually say about ourselves negatively in the mirror. Like you might walk past a mirror in the morning before your hair's done and go, oh my God, look at that mess of a hair or oh my God, I've got bags or whatever it be. Okay. Next time you look in the mirror, even if it's with positive thought that you actually tell yourself that you look beautiful no matter what state you are in okay starting to love yourself first is going to put that amazing fieriness out into the world people are actually going to start to really appreciate and love you for exactly who you are if you appreciate and love yourself for exactly who you are okay so yeah, that's that's highly indicated. Watch out this month that you're not telling yourself you can't and you're not going to have and all that because you can, Aries. It's here for you and it's for the taking. Okay, so we're going to have a look at your health too, Aries. Your health for the month of September. Tell yourself you can do anything, be anything, whatever it is. Because you can. You're the initiators of the zodiac. You you get you come up with the ideas. You're the idea people. Okay, 
So yes, you've, you know you've got some great ideas on the back burner there. It's time to actually get on and do them. Don't care what anybody else in your life says or what society thinks. Okay, as I said, particularly when it comes to do with uh, some sort of travel, as I said, travel blogs or animals is highly, highly indicated in this. Something to do with the planet too, could be plants. Okay, all right, so do more research. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for clearly and gently leading me to the information that I need to know for my well-being. Please give me the courage to be assertive as I take charge of my health care needs. Be assertive. See how he's holding a wand as well. Be assertive. Get out in nature. Maybe take yourself for a nice stroll, okay? Bird watching even, okay? Camping, anything like that. But be assertive. You know what's right for you. You know what's the right way to go. Um, and start to take that lead, okay? Any more health advice for Aries, please? Any more health advice? Any more health advice for Aries, please? No? Okay. All right, so we're also going to have a look at uh, positive affirmations here for you using the uh, Power Thought cards. It will help you along this uh, new journey that you're starting out on here. Thank you very much. Yep, what a great card. I open new doors to life. I rejoice in what I have and know that fresh new experiences are always ahead. I greet the new with open arms. I trust life to be wonderful. Time to take that great leap. Okay, you are the card for Aries is the Fool, the first card of the tarot. Time to make that great leap into the unknown Aries. You will not fall. And also, I see my parents as tiny children who need love. I have compassion for my parents' childhoods. I now know that I chose them because they were perfect for what I had to learn. I forgive them and set them free, and I set myself free. Of course, reading this straight up, I think your parents might have been in a situation where money was a struggle. They had to work very, very hard. They had to sell their time for money and maybe didn't get enough money as a response. And or they didn't treat money uh, very well. They might have... Um, thrifted it away or something like that. Um, it could have come from their parents, like your grandparents, who, as we go back in time, uh, things were quite hard financially, particularly as you head towards generations that had to do with the depression. A lot of negativity about money came from those times. So yes, it's um, really important to forgive your parents for any negativity they've surrounded you with, with, with a bounty and abundance and to realize they, they were their thoughts and it's time for you to make your own thoughts about money, okay? Uh, start to break the uh, intergenerational curses around finances here. It's, you've got a chance to do so at this time. So that's brilliant, really liking that. Okay, so we're also going to have a look at Work Your Light Oracle cards here and see what other advice there might be for you, Aries. Um, these are absolutely beautiful cards filled with really positive energy. So yes, we'll just get some advice here. Advice for Aries, please, for September 2019. Okay, Star Mother. How can you mother yourself? Okay, time to look after yourself here. Time to make sure that you're cared for and nurtured the way you would care and nurture your children. Time to mother yourself in all ways. Speak to yourself nicely and with respect. Uh, look into the mirror and tell yourself you're beautiful and you're loved. Treat yourself like your own mother, okay? And, and if you weren't mothered appropriately when you were younger, it's time to, to mother yourself now, okay? And Imrana, 
I, I think that says, where you are being called to journey to. Okay, so yes, a journey is calling you, whether it's internal or external or both. A journey, it looks like over water, is calling you. Um, and it looks like it's going to be of nothing but benefit to you and the planet okay it's going to help you with your finances it's going to help you with your physical body and it's going to help you get more clarity as to what your uh, purpose is on this planet so thank you so much Aries and good luck with this so if you'd like to like subscribe and hit that bell button if you want to get informed of any new videos I post and I'd just like to say thank you so much Aries I love you all and bye for now